Welcome to Fire Night TV. I am your host, Mohawk Bob. We have a very special guest with us today. We have Natasha Coppola Shalom. Thanks for coming out. Who are you? Well, isn't this an interesting starting point? Who are you? I am your host. I am Mohawk Bob. I came to your house. I came to my friend. Oh, yes, he does. He is my friend. He has a hose in his face, and I like to lick. I got some questions for you. Hello. I'm Natasha. Well, welcome, Natasha. Thanks for coming on to Fire Night TV. Oh. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I like your mohawk. Thank you. It's nice to have you. It's the great to be here. Yeah, so let's get on to some questions. All right. What got you into the film industry? The first time I remember wanting to be an actor was when I was three years old. So, uh... I did a production of Stone Soup. I don't know if you know that book. It's for kids. Or it, it was when I was a wee one. It was a book that we read in preschool, and we did a, a play of it. And I just loved it so much. And um, that's when I wanted to be an actor. And you know, I did my school plays. Yada yada. I love Shakespeare, so I wanted to study in England because I thought I really wanted to do Shakespeare. So I went to drama school in England. How long were you there? Four. Well, I went to two different drama schools. Um, I spent one year. At Bristol like theater school, okay. and then I did my bachelor's and another one. The bachelor's in England are three years because they're conservatory. Okay. Um, so I did a total of four, and then I lived there for a fifth. Um, and then I, once I graduated, I started acting professionally. So nice. Yeah, that's that's what got. I just it's what I felt like I was born to do, and I just love it. So sure. That's what got me into it. Natasha, what was your very first movie that you were in? Okay, so the first movie I did, I did a few when I was young, but my first professional movie was called Glizzi, um, which in Italian means the uncles, and it was a short, silent film noir, and it was a dark comedy about um, two uncles in Italy, and we, sorry, we shot it in Tuscany on top of a mountain. Oh, wow. On top of a mountain, yeah, it was remarkable. And it was about these two uncles, their niece gets left on their doorstep, she grows up, she's beautiful, all the men come by and they want to marry her, and the uncles start accidentally killing the suitors, and then they start purposefully killing the suitors, and it was great. It was really, really well made. Um, it sounds like it. Yeah, it was directed by Gerard Lobo, who was just lovely, and um, yeah, yeah, great, great film, and it won a lot of awards. It did very well, but that was my first professional film, and it was an incredible experience. Yeah, it sounds like it. Yeah. And about how many movies you been in? Uh, uh, over fifty. Over fifty. Yeah. That's amazing. That is awesome. <laughs> Natasha, could you tell us a little bit about your family, please? I mean, my family are lovely people and yeah. remarkably talented and. But you didn't get in it for them. You did it for yourself. No, no. So actually growing up, my parents wanted me to know my family's family, so I did not know that they were involved in the industry at all. Um, I didn't see their films at all until I was much older. And um, yeah, so I just developed those relationships as a... As a normal person. Just as a normal person. Yeah. And, I, um, and I just loved acting, you know, from my school plays. Yeah. Just from being a kid and doing it. And, and I, I fell in love with this thing on my own. Now, have you ever acted with your family members? No, no, I haven't. And um, I'm, I'm really actually very happy about that. I'm happy that I haven't had help because, yeah. you know, if and when I do become, ha like, have a more illustrious career, I'll know that I've earned it and that it's because... That's right. It wasn't given to you. Right, right. right. And, like, I'll know that any role I get, it's because I was the right person for the role. Yeah. Um, so... And I, you know, I'm really grateful because I love my career and I have a wonderful life. And like, it didn't happen too early. You know, I certainly wasn't ready yeah. five years ago. So, so yeah. And I'm glad that I've just like maintained my relationships, which, with, which is yeah. really nice. And they're just normal people like you. Yeah. The best movie you've been on. What? Which one did you like the best? Aside from Shoot from the Hip? Yeah. <laughs> I love you. We'll talk about our roles there. Yeah, no, this shoot has been amazing. Um, for me, I really... 
connect to my films based on the, the how I connect how to my films. How you feel. Well, no, it's to my role, right? Yeah. So my experience with it, like maybe the, the set's a cacophony, but if me and my role are very close and very, like if I, if I feel very strong about this character that I'm playing, then that, that film was a really special place in my heart. Yeah, it's so great. I, um, I recently played um, a schizophrenic woman who's been in solitary confinement for three months. Um, her name is Shireen, and the film is called Penitentia, and it should be doing the festivals hopefully next year, actually. And um, that meant so much to me because it opened my mind to multiple different kinds of people who I otherwise did not have empathy for. Okay. Um, so I find when a film or a role opens my heart in a, in a way that that my mind had otherwise been closed to, that leaves a huge impression on yeah. my life. So that film really meant a lot to me and that role really meant a lot to me because it was very important for me to play her as a person, sure, not as a sickness. Yeah, because the two are different. Right. A lot of people, yeah. if they get a schizophrenic character, they play the schizophrenia, not not the person. Yeah, the person who, who is. Yeah, it. exactly. And it's hard because it's such an uh, overwhelming um, condition. Sure. You know, if you're having a break. <laughs> I mean, you don't know what's coming your way. Right. You think someone's Some talking really to you. really have that problem. Right. You know? um, so, so just differentiating the two was, I mean, it was... Uh, the role of a lifetime, and I'm so grateful for it, so. How did you meet Jimmy Drain in Thunder Night Entertainment? So actually, I met Jimmy Drain when I was living in New York. Okay. Um, through a friend, Alex Kermes, um, who is lovely, and she's an actress as well, and she works a lot, so check her out. Um, but she's great, and she was gonna work with Jimmy as well, so she introduced him to me, and we were excited to work together, and that's how we met. Yeah. And how many movies are you going to do with it? So far, three. So we have Shoot from the Hip, which we just shot, which was a blast. Yeah, that was a fun <laughs> shoot. It was a really we fun. really had fun. <laughs> yeah, it was a great, great time. Um, and it was so great because I hadn't done comedy in so long, and just to like pop that bubble again was such a joy, and to work with such wonderful people. And you did work. so good. Oh, thank I mean, you. You really shined out there. Oh, that I'm was glad. wonderful. Well, as long as you guys are happy, I'm happy. Oh, we're going to have you back, for sure. I can't wait. For sure. But so, okay, so Shoot from the Hip, and then Dead Rose. Yeah. I haven't shot my scenes for that okay, yet. Okay, yeah, so that's coming out. And then we have um, Dick Reno, Monster Slayer. That one's going to be a fun one. Yeah. We're going to really have some some comedy genius work there. Oh, great. Yeah. I can't wait. Okay, Natasha, I have another question. Okay. Uh, you're coming up in the Dead Rose series. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about that saga? So, um, the Dead Rose series uh, circulates around this dagger. Think of the dagger like the ring in Lord of the Rings. Like, if you have this dagger, then you have the power of the world. Um, and the dagger is actually introduced at the end of Realm of Shadows, which Correct. is coming out now. This is kind of the beginning of the basis of the film, but it's it's great. It's yeah, it's going to really be a wild well. ride for that saga, because yeah. lots of... Uh, Interesting things are going to happen, and it's very well written. Yeah, very well written. So, yeah, and that's uh, by Thunder Night Entertainment as well. Yeah, I'm very excited yeah. to start shooting Dead Rose. What films do you have coming up that you're a part of? I have um, that film Penitentia I shot in February, so that should be doing the festival circuit this coming year. Um, I have three films that should be in the festivals next year. So, one is um, one is called. The Expected Guest, which is great, it's directed by Nicholas Farrakamo. I have um, Penitentia, and then the one other film that I just did is called The Harry Eight, and I produced on that as, sorry, not The Harry Eight, The Dancing Monkey, which was based on um, Neil Simon's play, The Harry Eight. It's a modern okay. adaptation of it. Yeah, and that is about um, the demise of union, well, the, the question of unionization in America, you know, whether or not it's, we, unionization is a good or bad, or, basically. Or helpful to the workers, yeah. and the demise of um, factory jobs in America, and how a lot of them are going to machines. So yeah. it was- Machines or some other country. Right, right. So um, that's what the film is about, and that was really well made. I just did that. It's directed by Chandler Wilde, and that should also be in the festivals next year. So I have a couple coming up. Sweet. Um, and I'm really happy 
I'm really happy with the work this year. It's been a good, strong year. And now to cap it, like you can see, I've done drama, drama, drama. Um, and then comedy! <laughs> and then this. So yeah. do something like this that's so full of joy and just so hysterical. So shoot from the hip. Yeah, which um, is fantastic <laughs> by Thunder Night Entertainment. Ridiculous and hysterical. And oh my gosh, if you want to watch a laugh, watch it. Because um, yeah. you're going to laugh. Yeah. Direct, directed by Jimmy Drain. Yeah. Um, it, oh, just so funny. Um, and it's about, it's a spoof comedy about this guy, this detective who wakes up and his girlfriend's gone and he has to go find his girlfriend, but the detective's hitting on him and he doesn't know what's going on and, and he wakes up and every, everything is different because he, like, he's in this dream world. Um, but hysterical. Yeah, it's very funny. And I got to work with you. I love you. Which was such we a We had a blast. Yeah. It was a, it was a great shoot. Great day all together. Yeah. We, uh, a clip of you from Shoot From The Hip so everybody sees your talent. I think it would be good for us. <laughs> the following movie is rated NC-17. This might be our only chance to bring the Phantom out into the open. Now, let's make this happen, team. Go get them! Arise, my wives! I said arise, my wives, and serve the will of our master, our beloved... Mr. Felix. See the devotion of your shadow palm. Right there, pendejo. We are supposed to be married and infiltrating the temple, remember? Married. <laughs> Have you thought of doing other things in the movie industry, like directing or producing? So I do produce a little bit. I am um, I produce on the Dancing Monkey and I produce on Penitentia. Um, and I like it. I'm I like producing as a way to complement my acting because sure. I'm an actor first and foremost. Um, and I also really enjoy casting. Oh. I've casted five times now, um, and I really enjoy it. Well, that's good. Yeah. So you got some other avenues you can work with. Yeah. To keep it going and yeah. Just live it large. And it's cool to see these other sides of the industry. I feel like every time you do another part, it makes you stronger in all the other parts. Yeah. You know. Definitely casting made me a much stronger actor. Because you can learn their part and this person's part and right. that person's part just to see how it all comes around together. Everything does. You know, yeah. you can't make a film without once. You know, every single person on set and in pre and post is so integral and so important. And like, yeah, because it's not just one person doing the whole thing. Oh my gosh, it's so many. Unless you're Jimmy Drain, of course. <laughs> right. <laughs> that man's a machine. Right. <laughs> He's a machine. He's amazing. I know. Whoa. Oh, what the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Well, man, it's so glad that you're, you come out here to see us, be in our movie. We love you. You yeah. had a blast. I love you guys. And uh, I know you're coming back. What oh, you so we love. We'll uh, see you again in the future. Yeah, I uh, can't wait. Thank you. Thanks for coming on. My pleasure. Say goodbye to my... Your lovey-dovey. <laughs>